Hello everyone, I am Abhishek Chanekar and I welcome you all in the presentation of paper titled Lifetime Analysis of Photovoltaic Inverter Based on Geographical Site of Installation. A survey was carried out in Florida where 176 inverters were tied to 103 grid PV system and it was found that most of the failure in the system were because of the inverters. Due to this failure, the replacement and the maintenance cost of the inverters at regular interval increases which decreases the net revenue of the entire PV system. If we further dig in the reliability study of inverters, it is found that the power semiconductor devices are one of the most vulnerable component in the inverter. Figure 2 shows the IGBT module structure. In this structure, we can see that power chip or the silicon chip is at the top and there are many layers of different material and aluminium base plate at the end. In the right side figure, we can see that the power process by the converter over the day and the change in the ambient temperature over a complete day. Both these result in the temperature variation at the junction. This temperature variation at the junction causes thermomechanical stresses between various layers of the structure due to the different coefficient of thermal expansion. This leads to bond wire, lift off and the solder fatigue which are main responsible for the degradation of the device. Literature is present on the lifetime estimation method of power semiconductor devices. The oldest one is the military handbook method. It is the simplest one but not accurate as it doesn't consider the wear out mechanism. Another one is the physics of failure based model. These models are based upon the physical phenomenon and are the most accurate but it makes all the model complex and the physical information regarding the structure is not readily available. The most accepted lifetime estimation model are the empirical lifetime model which are simpler and are derived from the statistical analysis of failure data. Using this empirical model, a lifetime analysis of single phase PV inverter different topologies are presented in the literature but in that literature the location based lifetime analysis is missing. The flowchart shows the methodology for lifetime estimation of power semiconductor devices. First, we will be evaluating the electrical stress on the device. After that, the thermal stress on the device and at the end, we will be estimating the lifetime of that device. First of all, the electrical stress evaluation. We are getting the mission profile data of the solar energy. In terms of irradiance and ambient temperature, we will be converting that data using this formula into the operating current and the voltage. Normally the inverter will be operated at the maximum power point. So the current and voltage we are getting will be the maximum power point current and the maximum power point voltage. Using this maximum power point current and maximum power point voltage we will be evaluating the various loss in the power semiconductor devices. The IGBT will be having the conduction loss and the switching loss and the diode will be having the conduction loss and the reverse recovery loss. The formulas for these losses are presented in the papers. In the electrical stress evaluation, we were getting the different losses. The estimated losses are used for the thermal stress evaluation. Figure 4 shows that the heat is generated at the silicon chip and it is transferred to the heat sink or the base plate via thermal path. The mathematical formulation of thermal path is carried out by the Foster model or the Coir model, but the manufacturers normally provide the Foster model. Figure 5 shows the Foster model representation of IGBT where the losses are considered as the current source and the various uh, layers are considered as the RC parallel combination and we can have the equation for the junction temperature as ambient temperature plus losses in each layer. In the steady state the capacitance effect is neglected and only the resistance effect remains so the RTH comes out to be the change in temperature divided by the power loss. This gives us the information about the junction temperature. This junction temperature information is fed to a counting algorithm which converts random thermal cycles to regular thermal cycles. Here we are using the Renflow algorithm for that. The Renflow algorithm gives us the output in terms of the number of cycles of a particular temperature swing, time duration of that cycle and frequency of that cycle. The regular thermal cycle information is used in the lifetime estimation of the device via lifetime empirical model and the miners rule. These lifetime empirical models 
gives us the information of the number of cycles to failure from the temperature cycles. In the literature, various lifetime models are presented, but we are selecting the sure one lifetime models because it deals with the geometry of the bond wire, the on cycling period of the thermal cycle and the only model to deal with the diode factor. This number of cycles to failure are fed to the minus rule to calculate the accumulated damage because of the each of the cycle. LC is the accumulated damage over a period T then the lifetime of a particular device is calculated using this formula. The presented methodology will be used in the reliability analysis. For that we have considered IGBT based single phase grid connected PV inverter rated up to 5 kW. Each of the IGBT device will behave differently with respect to the topology. So for a wide range of study we have considered 4 PV inverter transformerless topologies full bridge, H5, H6 and Herrick. But each topology would behave differently at different location because of the changing solar profile. So we have considered 6 different topographical location which will give a wide range of information about the reliability of the inverters. We have 4 different PV inverter topologies and 6 different location. We have used the methodology presented for lifetime estimation of PSDs. Figure 7 shows the location based relative lifetime for IGBT and diode in the full bridge inverter. The diode is the anti-parallel diode of the IGBT. The lifetime of the PSDs are normalized to lifetime of the diode located at the Kenya. Here we can observe that the diode are having minimum lifetime irrespective of the location. This is because the thermal stress occurring at the diode is greater than the IGBTs. The reason for this increased thermal stress is that if we consider the manufacturing of an IGBT module, we can see that the diode chip size is smaller than the IGBT chip size and the heatsink provided is the same. This result to poor heat dissipation with increased degradation of the diode. Here we will see the effect of location on the lifetime of the inverter. Figure 8 shows the location based relative to lifetime for different inverter topologies. Lifetime of inverter are normalized to lifetime of full bridge inverter located at the Kenya. If we considered all the inverter topologies, we can clearly see that the Kenya and Amazon face the highest damage followed by the Kolkata. These three locations are near to equator and hence they face the higher thermal stress on the power semiconductor devices. Table 1 shows the average mean temperature over the year of all the locations. Here we can clearly observe that the Kolkata, Amazon and Kenya are having higher mean temperature which leads to higher mean value of the junction temperature. Due to the location near to equator, there is also higher temperature swing because of the make and break of the solar irradiance. Here we can see the delta Tj variation at two different locations. Kenya is one of the location which is nearer to the equator and New York is one of the location which is far away from the equator. This delta Tj information is obtained from the Renflow algorithm output. Here we can see that the minimum and the maximum value of the delta Tj are both the locations is same. And the total cycle occurring at both the location, we can see that New York has the higher number of cycles. Still, it is facing the lesser damage. Why so? From figure 9, we can see that the thermal stress cycle at New York. Here we can see that there are number of cycles, but at less delta Tj and less Tj mean value. But if we look at the Kenya location, here we can see that the more number of cycles are at higher delta Tj and at higher mean temperature with respect to the New York. The same thing can be seen from this table also. And that is the reason why the uh, location which are nearer to the equator face the higher damage. So concluding the presentation, we have seen that the lifetime of solar inverter in hotter or near to equator region is less compared to the other locations. Considering the anti-parallel diode and the IGBT, the anti-parallel diode faces more damage and hence result in lesser lifetime. The reliability of the full bridge inverter topology is poorest at all the locations and the lifetime of H6 and Herrick inverter topologies are found nearly to be same with a percentage difference of only 2% at all the locations. Thank you.